Hello, Professor. My question is, which element you like best? That's a very good question. And several people have asked me. And sometimes I give one answer, sometimes another. But I think the element I really like best is sodium. And the reason is that the symbol for sodium, Na, is the same as the name that my mother used when she was a little girl. She called herself Na. So every time, and my children called their grandmother Na. So every time I see the symbol, I get a sort of warm feeling about my mother, who sadly died now. And so I get a very warm feeling about the element. Uh, hi, Professor. My question is this. Um, how do they decide the names of elements? And do you think that the names that they've put are really appropriate, or should we vote on it? Again, this is a very good question. And I asked Professor Hoffman, who works in Darmstadt, who has named elements, how he chose the names. And what he said was they all sat around the coffee room and they wrote the possible names on the blackboard <laughs> and then they had to vote on it. And it was really sad. I sat in the room where they chose the name of Mytenarium, but they had cleaned the blackboard so you couldn't see what the names were. And what is very nice is that many years ago when people discovered elements, they named them after their own country, Germanium after Germany, Francium after France. But now, recently, people have started giving them names that are more scientific, that are not connected to a particular country. And the latest element that Professor Hoffman named, and it had its christening, its opening of name day on the 12th of July, element 112 is called Copernicium, after Copernicus, the Polish astronomer. And I think this really honors a great scientist, irrespective of, the, of their country. And this is a very good movement, taking chemistry to a much more international level. Which of the explosions do you find most beautiful and most exciting? That's a very interesting question. Nobody's ever asked me that before. And I think, I think that explosions they're, they're OK, and they're good for non-specialists. But in the end, some of the things that I think are most beautiful are things like the color changes uh, that you get in chemical reactions. And one of the, the, the videos that has caused most excitement of all the videos we've shown was showing me lighting a candle. And I think that in science and in chemistry, it's often the quite small and subtle effects that are more interesting. Explosions are very good to get you started, but then as you get into chemistry, you'll find that some of the changes that are not so violent are also interesting. If you had explosions in your body, you would not have grown to the size to ask that question. <laughs>